I happened to be in Bombay when my son, 32-year-old son, was dying of cancer. And he had for you, I took him to America and spent $80,000 on his two feet. Jay Kusumati, you know, was known for his healing powers. And then he volunteered. I said, I don't believe in healing powers at all. If you have any healing powers, put him for his students right away. There is no time back to them. Because we hear the story of the Trishis when they said something, it happened immediately. <laughs> He walked on water. Luckily for him and unluckily for mankind, the water happened to be only empty. <laughs> <laughs> he laughed, laughed, laughed. The time he said, and if I did succeed, he was on his duty. And then he died of cancer when he was 32 years old. He became one of the top, uh, what do you call the uh, advertising? Uh, what is it? Freelancing. Not freelancing. Thumb, 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 so many of these things he was doing. He made a lot of money. Copyright. He was living for the first time outside of marriage with his secretary for 10 years. And then I happened to be here at the time when he was dying of cancer. First time in the newspapers. I was here in Bangalore. He was asking me, please come, I want to see you for the last time. I may not live long. Thank you. To any interest in going and seeing my son. And then you see in the papers it appeared that how can you be so unconcerned about this dying son? Valentine's shirt me. So then I decided to go and see. Do you know what the headlines in the newspapers said? How can an enlightened man visit his own son so often? They created a problem for him. All right. So then he died after some time. And I happened to be there, so because uh, the girl he was living with was not married to him, I had to sign all the papers and then also take him there to the external place, signed all the papers. And the next day, you see the enlightened man doing all these things, which was their problem. Now that was the only thing. And she was carrying the, the ashes. And the way I treated that, you see, it surprised everybody, the hospital people in my age. And her father came and uh, he wanted to comfort me, console me. And he asked me a question, how can your son die, sir? He thought that I am a spiritual man that I would save him. Or some such thing. Why not my son go to somebody else's son? So that was the thing he made a famous movie. So it was won international awards also my age. And, uh, so we were returning from that place and she was carrying the ash. And I, she was crying. And I asked her, the only way to forget the past time, who is now reduced to ashes, is to pick a gun. Ten minutes after he was reduced to ashes, I told that girl, and I thought she would get up and throw all the ashes on my head or some such thing. And everybody was frightened. That was the only realistic advice I can give. See, if you remember all those things for the rest of your life, what damage it will do to your body, you don't know why they are now interested in celebrating the anniversary of 9th and 11th of September, all the death anniversaries of those people. Why you are doing it? They are forgetting it becomes less and less and less in your memory. And that is very essential for your survival. You want to remind them, perform ceremonies, and then you see now they want to celebrate on a worldwide scale. You're inviting the leaders. Leaders of days. mankind. That means you don't want the people to forget it. You know? They don't want the people to forget, you see, that event that occurred one year ago. So that is the only reason why you perform the, the annual ceremonies of your dead mother, dead father. For what? They are all dead and gone. So people don't understand. Why am I saying that? Huh? Okay, guys. Huh? Okay, short defensive. You forget. Don't do all this. You avoid another thing. This is slow. You see, it's, otherwise you don't seem to understand one basic thing that I am always emphasizing. The body does not accept any of the things you think you are good for. 
your emotions, your feelings, your kindness, softness, gentleness, compassion, you are practicing. That is the reason why you have all the heart problems. <laughs> But we are not only body, we are something else other than the body also. Nothing is there, they are only body. You have been brainwashed to believe. Yeah, that body. Beings. No, no, emotions are put in there by your culture. You know why? You see, you have tears. The tears are there only to lubricate the eyes. If you don't do, your eyes become dry and you will go blind. That is the only reason why you, I have never in my life cried. Probably as a baby. I don't have any of those problems. Never. You will lose your eyes. You will become blind if you don't have the tears. Even if it is divine love that is rejected by the body. Body is not interested in anything they say and you accept is good for the body. You have never, I tell the people, you have never meditated very seriously. If you have meditated, very seriously, either you will go mad and end up in the mental hospital singing very melodies and do need to or commit suicide. And then you call that jealous among How many spiritual teachers who seriously did all those things? Even Ramatirtha, who wrote those books, the seven volumes, he committed suicide. Well, you know about so all of so them, the, 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 the one before the, the two. Huh? Chandra Shekhar was the government suicide because they were. He, he was, he was, he was, I met I met the Chandra Acharya sir and a common friend of me. Abhinavidya is here talking about very cunning, clever, crafty bastard. I'm sorry, you see. Very sorry. I have the greatest admiration for the institution of sannyas. It's something extraordinary. Why, but, why, there must be something there. No, nothing in the spiritual sense. So why is the institution? It is why you see, that's what I told you. The, the, the son of that gentleman also, don't live double life. Straightforward. Straightforward. You see, if you can't give up sannyas, but you are going to be miserable in I this know. world also, because you spent 19 years of your life as a sannyasi. And how can you live the life you and I are living? It is just not possible. They will be miserable there, they will be miserable here. But if the institution is not doing anything, why the institution is there? Why, why, you not, want, why you respect that institution? Not is? respecting, don't touch that institution at all. Either destroy or uh, uh, com continue that institution. Just leave it there. <laughs> Whoever wants to call that the problem. That, that is their affair. What have you to do? Nothing must be there. I am telling you yeah, one thing. I am there. telling you one thing. If you are finished with God, you have no reason to free anybody from their belief in God. That is what the atheists are doing. They are still related to God. If you are for any reason freed from God, you will neither want people to believe in God, nor will you do anything to see that the people are free from their belief in God. Never. You see, I found out, I was not, you don't become an atheist, you see, and talk institutions and uh, take people away from their belief in God. God is irrelevant. Whether he exists or not, what do I do? I don't need. I never entered a temple ever exactly. since I was seven years old. Exactly. You know? So what I am saying is that don't touch, destroy those institutions. Whether there is anything to it or not, that is why I am blaming. Buddha, because even the guy who started this uh, sannyas never existed before that. I am telling you, the sages just talk from their experiences. Mm -hmm. Thank you. So why he created institutions to convert people? He did not allow women to join the order. He is the worst enemy of his country. Worst enemy. Worst enemy. And he would have remained a very just an ordinary uh, spiritual teacher like all the teachers like Rajneesh, like Jay Krishnamurti. But the state used that as an instrument of power. Buddhism, Christianity, Islam would have remained small cults. But the state used them as instruments of power and forced it on us. Used violence, killed people. Why you have to kill hundreds and thousands of men, women and children 
to treat love thy neighbor as thyself, I want to. I told Gandhi, more people have been killed in the name of non-violence than violence. What the hell you are? He didn't understand when I emphasized that both violence and non-violence spring from the same source. Same source. Non-violent movements. He announced to the wide world, I have committed a Himalayan blunder. And one year after, he started another one. And I met him, I blasted him. You don't seem to understand. You know, love and hate are the same. They are diverse and the opposite of the same coin. If for any reason you want to not to be the opposite, the one thing that you can get away from is love. It is that demand that has created, I am a selfish man, some kind of a selfishness is necessary for the survival of the living organism. But to practice as a virtue, and what is it that has turned me into a selfish man? The demand to be free from selfishness. Anything I am doing to free myself from selfishness he is perpetuating this. It is very difficult to get the hang of what I am saying. The opposite must never. You see, one who is trying to be free from what he is preaching others is the one that is creating all the problems. Sorry. Thank you, sir. Blessings and curses are the same. What are you saying, sir? What Brahmachari was telling me. But Vimachari was telling me your blessings yeah. don't work only your taxes work. <laughs> then more powerful. <laughs> In anything you claim is the result of my being around you or my doing. Get this and get this straight. But without knowing this, something has happened. What is happening? It happens. You translate that and put it in the framework of your knowledge. I am context, telling you. In your context. Sir, this is this was my problem as a boy. I'm going to cut. I experienced everything, even Turiya state, Turiya Atita state. But these are all self-created experiences. You have read the descriptions how they described the non-existent state that they were living in. Use your thought, and you are experiencing the thought in your state. Rejected in one condition yourself from whatever you are trying to free yourself from is perpetuating. Any movement in any direction. But these two are bringing a lot of bondage, violence, contradiction. Wanting to be free from the bondage is perpetuating the bondage. I'm telling you. Anything you want to remain in the bondage. Remain in the bondage. Anything you are doing to free yourself from non existing bondage. The demand to be free from something that does not exist. I am telling you. The demand to be free from bondage is the one that has created that bondage. He gave a Nobel Prize and he created the nuclear weapons and created a something for us which will be a nuclear holocaust. This we have seen that using the times of India are using it. It is only the dead structures that is moving there. And we have tremendous faith in those bounds. Huh? What are you talking about? How is it possible? So it's there. No need to find out what it is. No, what our knowledge says is shown be, 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 because of a man and woman, there's going to be a baby, you said. This no, is knowledge, no? No, they don't think there is. The feeling you are talking about is different from the feeling that the finest man <coughs> experiences. It is not emotional, it is not in any feeling good, feeling affection, feeling love, it is not anything. No. I have to use that word, you are moving like this. Where is that move? If you fall like this, I don't tell myself that I am falling the way you are falling there. You keep over and fall. That is uh, anything you say, where is it happening? Is that happening there or is it happening? I don't care. 
tell myself all the time, I am using all these words to give you a hang about how this is responding. There is only response. The response is one unitary moment. It is not in the Vedantic sense that I am talking about the unitary moment. This cannot be separated. You see, the sense of touch. Only sensory activity is all that is there. Another, that's all. So this is a the sense of touch from he, from this. I am not saying that this is one or the oneness in the sense in which you have to talk about all that Vedanta, nothing. Only when you say that this is hard huh? and the hardness is experienced by this sense of touch. So what is it that creates this hardness? The word horn is giving materiality and substance to this yeah. and make you experience this as horn. Otherwise it never tells you that this is horn. So you have been doing all your life that any time you looked at it, you told yourself that the devil is horn and then you put your finger, the moment you put your hand here, what you experience is the hardness and so it is knowledge in the past which is put in there, which you use it to experience the hardness of this, is already in operation. But there is no way you can experience this hardness. So it is that the word of hard is the one that is giving materiality and substance to this. The world itself is knowledge. Huh? The very world itself is knowledge. That is you. You see, there is nothing else there other than that the word or. And if it is just a word, and how come you experience the moment you put your hand as hardness? I don't experience the hardness at all unless I tell myself or you ask me what, it is, like, what is it that you are. So you are bringing the that knowledge that was put in there in me which said that this is hard, whoever said it doesn't matter. So every time, even without touching this, you, say, you are able to experience the hardness. You know? So this is the question which I am throwing at all the physiologists. Come to see. We talk about not just ordinary lecturers or the scientists. You, are, you seem to be able to experience the hardness of this, even without touching that. I don't know if I make myself clear. Yeah, it is just not clear. possible for me. So I may be a low grade moron, that doesn't matter. Because only That's four what I wanted months, to do. My boy was only four months old and I raised that boy. I was the luckiest person. So my wife was working and then I told her, you see, all the money that you are making, 500 dollars per week, will be used to you see, use some maid or some girl to take care of this boy. You know, I was elected. That's why I am emphasizing and maintaining all the time. I have learned more from that boy from the time he was born until he left me in the second year. Then all the secular and spiritual teachers were together. About the living, see, if there are something extraordinary in mind. So one day he was four months old, he was moved. She watched me a hot plate there. My wife was jumping all the time. He will burn his hand, he will do this. So you are putting fear into them. You understand? <coughs> fear that is responsible for that guy going there and touching that and burning himself. If you don't do anything, I told her, you stand here, don't talk. You just watch. I assure you that he will not burn me his hand. He will not bring me up. Jumping, jumping. If you do that, I will change you to this person. I want you to see this. So he went closer and closer and closer. He tried to put his hand on this and the heat push his hand away. I don't want the people to do these experiments. If you try to teach, tell the people that you are not going to burn yourself, you will suddenly touch it and find out that it is hot or cold. 
don't don't know that 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 that